Anyway, guys, we got a couple more topics to get to here. I want to ask you, and I like talking about the Mandalorian line. I know we've talked about it a little bit in recent shows before because I think the Mandalorian is a lot hotter than I, I think even some people realize. And maybe we're not thinking about it as intensely when the show's not running. But Hot Toys is producing a lot of Mando stuff. And for a reason, because they know that it's going to sell. And I think maybe when the show Mando is over and we look back on this, we say, damn, that Mandalorian line is pretty grail. Like there's a lot of grails in that line. And I want to ask you guys, both of you, does the Mander line have the potential to become something like the original trilogy? Could it reach that height in terms of, you know, its grail status? Because Mando will not run forever. Eventually, you know, they're going to run Mando as long as they can, right? So it could run five, six, seven, eight seasons, who knows, or more, right? But when it does eventually end, could these Mando figures reach the heights of the OT? Could they could they get to that point in Star Wars um, when, when fans start to become nostalgic for Mandalorian when it's gone? Um, what do you think about this, Kiko? Could Mando reach those heights of OT? Is there going to be a what is our spoiler ban for this show? Because we can't <laughs> never not talk about it, right? Yeah, well, I would say give it another next week. We'll talk about well, next week. We'll talk about <laughs> so, so there's a two week del- there's two okay, weeks so there's delay. a week yeah. delay. Okay, two weeks yeah. anyway. So I'm gonna go off the board here and say okay. pretty emphatically, no, it will not okay. reach old. Original trilogy heights at all, um, mainly because we don't know how this ends. For one, you can't speculate until it ends. And think about how uh, this might rub some people the wrong way. Think about how uh, <laughs> beloved Luke Skywalker was until the Last Jedi. Then people hated mm-hmm. him, you know. But that you know that old farm boy Luke, you know that that hero of the rebellion, that you know go getter that stood up to the emperor. They didn't give a shit about him after he just sat there and passed out on a rock and died. You know I don't care about the character <laughs> at all anymore. So going back to the original, you have to think about what was available and how that would made a cultural impact on people. Yeah, the Mandalorian is a cultural phenomenon, but Star Wars it literally changed the world at that point back in 1977 when that first came out it literally changed everything people were going to the movies and seeing these things that they've never seen before practical effects the the storylines the villains all that the iconic moments the you know the i am your father and you know the death star i mean all those things are just iconic iconic throughout pop culture that people know who it is you walk down i mean I don't know if you can reach that right now. Maybe because we're just so oversaturated with everything. And yeah, the Mandalorian is super cool. Not going to lie. I mean, it saved Star Wars probably from what it was doing after, you know, the disaster of the sequel trilogy. But I don't think you're going to reach those heights because you're not, it's a different world and people are not going to, you know, embrace it quite like that. This is a Disney plus show. This isn't a streamed, uh, or this isn't a in theater global phenomenon to where people are lining around the blocks and, you know, red carpet and all that. So they're, they're doing the best they can with it. And that's the number one topic. When, once they go to star Wars celebration, I guarantee you that when I was at celebration last year, Riley can speak to this. The only people <laughs> cared about was the Mandalorian. That was it. Mando. That and the Ahsoka <laughs> series. That was it. Mando was it. The amount of cosplayers in Mando gear and just dressing up as Mandalorians was insane. I I got my pictures taken with Ghostbuster Mandalorians. I mean, it was so cool (laughs) to see. But I do not think that they're going to reach original trilogy height because nothing ever will. And I'm not trying to be the negative Nancy about that, but that's just goes to show and maybe i'm just old maybe that's part of it and i don't want you know anything to take you know take my shine but that's what i grew up with and so that's nothing is going to replace that and i think that a lot of people will say until um, mando has that iconic moment and it ends well it has to have a lot of things go right for it yeah well we have the luke skywalker moment we have that we have that and we have the boba fett moment from mando we have what else uh grogu from episode one there's a lot there's it's got its iconic moments kiko we got that part from oh we're not allowed to talk about that this week yeah we're gonna talk about (laughs) this week yeah Yeah, this week but uh we'll talk about it next week we'll talk about next week so riley what do you think about this do you think mando could reach the the heights of original trilogy and collector's hearts because that's a pretty high bar to cross Right. I think that I'm I'm more so with, with what Kiko's saying, particularly for a specific reason. I think that they're at this point, even if Mando reaches that limit to where like people are just in love with it and it and officially ends, I think there's just a lot of just figures. There's just too many figures of Mandalorian. There's there's a Chrome Mando, a Beskar Mando, like there's variations of these figures. While before 
when it comes to the OT, it was more so you had Princess Leia, you had Luke Skywalker. And then once that officially sold out, it skyrocketed because you didn't have a lot of options. But now I think with Hot Toys and the way that they're just pumping out Mandalorian like crazy, they had a whole video series of JC Hong talking about how they love Star Wars. I think that at this point, it's really not going to release reach that OT status because like I said, again, when it comes to the OT, there was those some figures and then it was done. It was a franchise and a movie. And Kiko made a great point that I didn't think of. Those are theater experiences, the nostalgia. I feel like with more so now that, that it's all streamlined, it's not going to be the exact same appeal. But there are people who extremely love Mandalorian. And when it officially ends, it's, it's going to be a, a sad day. But I don't think it's going to he- reach that OT height because that's that's a whole different ball game. And it's like you said, it's a hard uh, path to just to top that, the original trilogy, simply because of how iconic it is. I mean, I know Grogu and Mando are also iconic themselves, but... When it comes to the OT, it's, it's a different ballpark. So I'd say not really, but in a sense, it may reach there. And I wonder when this show just officially ends. It's kind of hard to question. I think the John Favreau and, and the people who created it, they said that they don't really have a plan of when they're going to officially end the show. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. We'll, we'll find out. Right. Yeah. It's a really good question. And like I said, for me, I would say that I think it might, guys. I think it might. Think so. I'm going to go a little bit bold here. I'm I going love your spicy take. I like that. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I think it might just because, you know, not anytime soon, right? Because I think Mando, obviously, right now, it's a very hot property considering it's live. You guys are absolutely so right, hot though. Right so hot right now. Yeah, so yeah. handsome. So hot right now. That's pretty much what's going on with Mando. I mean, anything Mando is printing money, especially season one when Grogu was announced. Like, dude, most Star Wars characters, like Darth Vader, most people know, right? Luke Skywalker, most people know. Kylo Ren, probably. Like when I when when people come into my office at work, right, and they see Grogu, everyone knows who it is. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> everyone. They call him Grogu. They call him Baby Yoda. They call him Baby Yoda. They call him Baby Yoda. However, it's still it's a Star Wars thing that's got it. It is different, but <laughs> that's that was point. that was his prename. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So, but I will say that's that's again Grogu and and Baby Yoda rather are so ingrained in our culture now. It's such a phenomenon that I don't think people quite realize how big that was it's and true. how big it kill, still yeah. is. So I think yes, I I understand. You know, original trilogy was probably one of the biggest film phenomenons of all time and still is, right? But Mando, yeah. I think, eventually could become really, really beloved. It's already beloved on Star Wars fans. But when it's gone and you don't have those Mando figures coming in constantly and Din's not around anymore, that becomes right. a different conversation. So to can, me... Can I, can I throw yeah, the pot ahead. again? Just yeah. because I think it's <laughs> a the great po- topic. The pot, yeah. It's a great topic. Yeah. Remember the first five seasons of Game of Thrones that are like, this is going to be the greatest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, that's just- no one cares anymore. <laughs> No one cares anymore. <laughs> I still do. Well, that's because that's it ended so da- Daenerys went. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I mean, what if Mando ends terribly? What if something goes wrong? Right. Because, be. I mean, this is set before the sequel trilogy. What if Kylo Ren <laughs> kills Grogu or something ridiculous like that? You know? <laughs> and, 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 it, and it falls apart because the also the other thing that I, that I think is interesting is that we have such a short attention span. Back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and even like 2000s, you could just, you know, throw in a VHS and push rewind after you'd watch it and you just rewatch it again. Now you only watch like 15 minutes of a show and I'm bored with that and move on to the thing. I don't know if we have the <laughs> capability as a culture to embrace something long term to where this is a phenomenon. So maybe I'm really showing my crow's feet at this point and the wrinkles in my head about how old I am. Because <laughs> Me too, bro. Maybe, I got I'm talking, maybe, maybe I'm talking like a boomer because. I, I don't know. No, I you're right, know if it's bro. Possible anymore. I'm bored. I'm bored. I got bored of Lord of the Rings. That's your perfect example, right? Yeah, <laughs> Kiko did too, though. Kiko did. Too. Oh, there you go. So, there so you go. I'm outnumbered on this panel for Lord of the Rings. So, Riley, you're in a you're in a rare spot this evening. Let's you're go. gonna fall asleep during Back to the Future too. I know you are. And I'm yeah. Get- no, I won't. <laughs> well, no, you show it to me at ten o'clock. I will, dude. If I, I watch that, that, how do you have you not watch that? Will come on. I'm, I'm, I'm too. We're fixing that next week. Yeah, Kiko's gonna fix it. We're gonna watch Mando and then both Back to the Futures apparently. So oh, wow. hell yeah. Like a blast. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be. It is a blast from the past, literally. So, oh, yeah, it's going to be amazing.